Yo, what up, you two? It's your boy, Mr. Get In There. On a quick little update, man. Update on the quick pro- uh, project, Cuddy, man. I get a lot of updates, I mean, a lot of emails. Every video I post, there's always somebody in the comments, man, what's up with the Cuddy? Well, one day I got a comment on an old video. I guess they were just catching up on some videos I had posted, and it was like, what? Nice video, but I'm here for the Cuddy. I'm like, God damn. Man, I appreciate all the support from the Cuddy, man. Man, I ain't know the Cuddy had that much big of an impact on the channel, man. I really appreciate y'all, man, sticking there with your boy. Been through a couple of little bumps and trials and little errors and setbacks, etc. cetera. Uh, but we still grinding on the Cuddy. Uh, I don't, I, I'm telling you, I purchased, they currently purchasing a lot of parts for the Cuddy. The Cuddy, like, I like literally have like everything to put the Cuddy back together. Only thing I'm missing is uh, Dakota Digital. Dakota Digital, a few transmission pieces, bump box, trans brake kit, a few little pieces. I don't have much left to buy for the Cuddy. Like, I don't have much left to buy for the Cuddy, man. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence with the, with the, uh, with the Dakota Digital. I'm not sure if I'm gonna break the bank and go and get the, the Harley uh, pad that got it mounted in the dash. And, Cause it read, it read, uh, it got a gas needle thing on it as well, so. Only thing about I read about the gas needle is like if you got a fill up, if you got a full tank, it won't show 100%. It'll show 80. It'll say 80 between 80 and 100. That's what it'll show. Get down to about a half a tank, it'll show 40 to 50. It's really not accurate, but I mean, I guess it's designed for race cars. So, I mean, I guess that's why it's not 100% accurate, you know, 80%, 75%, 90% fuel. So, I mean, if it show 20 to 30, I know I'm low. That's good enough for me, man. I mean, that's better than, that's better than some of you guys riding around, no gas needle at all, and got a gas tank in the back of the trunk. So, hey, it is what it is. Uh, uh, that's what we got, YouTube. Bust it over, man. You see what we got, man. We got new Holly set up for the Cuddy, man. New Holly set up for the Cuddy, man. PCM for the Cuddy, man. This is the drive-by wire setup I got. Uh, I think all of them the same. Just one come with one come with more wire harnesses than the other, because you could purchase additional wire harnesses for this is the small uh screen that comes with it the touch screen the little highly pad uh you know touches touch screen you can program it it's set up uh it's highly set up set me back but hey i've been on the fence with it a good little while now talk to a couple people a couple tuners different tuners but i'm really trying to just really just Execute this setup that I got, this mean ass setup I got. I'm about to go highly, man. Dan highly. I can set it at, I can have a couple different modes, man, just for cruising around. I can have it maybe set at like four pounds, five pounds of boost just for cruising, man. And time for track mode, I'll turn on kill mode, man. 10, 15, 20, 30 pounds, whatever I need on kill mode. You know, if I'm at a certain track, track, uh, they ain't, the, the track ain't prepped right as shit. Going to the Highland setup, turn down the power. The Highland setup also lets you know, I think it calculates the wheel spin, timing, RPM. It calculates various different things all together and it tells you your horsepower. I'm not, I haven't got into it and done enough, enough research to figure out exactly how accurate it is, but it does so. I will hit the dyno well as well, so I'll find out how accurate the highly setup is. I know a lot of people out there would like to know that because a lot of people get the highly setup, they don't go to the dyno. I mean, because 
the, the, uh, the setup showing you how much horsepower. You do all your tuning from off the laptop. You could do majority of the, of the startup tune on the, the little key on the little touch screen, but hook the laptop to it and you can get into it a little more deeper. Um, Two, uh, transmission, Mr. Transmission Harness, Transmission Harness, everything brand new, man, everything brand new, uh, nice, for the money that you spend, it looks like, look like it coming loom, loom wiring, look like it, I had opened it up earlier, man, check it out, man, I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't wait, you know, wait on y'all, for the, do the unboxing with the main harness. Nice and pretty. Loom wire, nice and pretty, nice and pretty. Uh, what is this? One, two, three. This must be injector harness. Uh, got a big book to read. I'll probably sit there and do some of that read tonight. Uh, focus, focus. Look like everything, look like they test all the harnesses, I guess to make sure it got good connection, etc. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 this uh, might have shot. I hope this don't plug into the computer like this, because this might have shot. I hope it plugs into the, to the main harness. I'll figure it out, I'll read the instructions. But um yeah these uh like you can six plugs. Yeah, this objective harness. I mean yeah, injector harness. Uh just a drive by wire harness, yeah. I can tell from this plug. Drive by wire. This go to the throttle by here. This must go to the pedal. This end plug into the computer. Not cut or modify. Uh, I guess do whatever we gotta do here in the lab until that's what we what we can do. Um, okay, this auxiliary harness. This one you wanna add extra stuff on to it. I one wire for the bump box for my little research, watching a few videos, bump box, one wire for the boost controller. It's just it's just so many extra things you can do with this uh highlight setup with this for and accessory harness. Uh, I don't know what that is. We'll figure it all out later. Uh, this is, I don't know what this is. We just say B on it. Uh, Looks like maybe a power wire for the PCM. For the power of the PCM. I bet you this is just a power wire for the PCM. PCM is very heavy too, boy. Very heavy. Uh, I don't know what this is. Connected to stuff. Can adapt the harness. I have to figure out this for auxiliary. What is this? This is not an external harness. So I don't know what that's for, but we'll figure it out in due time. The little pin for the touch screen. Some screws. That's it, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. That's what we got, man. The model number on here is. Five five zero six two three. This is the model number for a drive by cable. I mean drive by wire. I'm sorry, drive by wire. And it uses uh, it uses the pedal from like the new impalas, like the new impalas drive by wire. It uses the pedal from that. Uh, I think it used the uh, the GM pedal, GM seller pedal. Probably just buy from GM or Jigs. I think it's like sixty bucks, seventy bucks. So. I probably need to go and get that. Uh, uh, what else? What else? What else? Let's see YouTube. I mean the whole job, man. That's what we got, man. Probably be back in the lab this weekend, man. Been very busy, busy week, busy week, man. Just uh, baby girl just dropped, man. So uh, waiting on her. Everything get checked out on that so she can come home. Uh, just had baby girl. Uh, 
you want to send over, you want to send over your birthday, I mean, not uh, birthday, you want to send over your, your little late baby shower gift, you know, for baby girl, I'll put the PayPal description, I'll put the PayPal right here somewhere, I'll put it in the, uh, in the description, in the corner of the screen, it's going to be right here in the screen right now, it's going to pop up, boom, just like that, put it in the description, you want to send over a few bucks for some pampers or some wipes, some uh, towels, I send over that on uh, PayPal. I mean, not send it. I uh, just send that in on over PayPal. Send it as a friend. Send that on over, and just put in the description, baby gift. So I don't get you mixed up with no any other PayPal transactions. I appreciate y'all, man. We still move forward on the cutting, man. I got more projects coming to the lab. They really not set in the stone. They haven't set that deposit, that good old deposit yet. So I'm trying to stay on the grind, stay on top of things, man. Just had baby girl. So I'm trying to keep moving forward. Got to get that money. Uh, so um, the plan is Project Shot Town pretty much done. I just got to run the uh, fuel, not fuel pump, the fan relay. I got to build a fan relay. Should have made a ball one for 100 bucks. Yeah, if you hear me talking. Give me that boy, MC, give me talking, I'm talking about your ass. I should have made you ball one for a hundred, but try to help him out, save a few bucks, man. He's been through a lot with the car, so I'm trying to bend, bend over a little bit and help him a little bit on a few things. So I got to build the relay harness and drive it. That's it. And call my guy to come on over and tune the street tuning, but that's it. That's that's done. That's maybe 30 minutes or so to run the horn, make you build the harness or something. Even an hour. That's done. Project LS, Project SS, whatever he Buku projects. Finna start um probably jump on him this weekend. Uh try to get the jams painted. I wasn't gonna worry about painting the jams, but I'm gonna paint the jams, fresh paint. I'm gonna paint the jam, probably just one little light coat of paint, one light coat of clear on it, and call it a day, freshen the jams up. And uh start Taking it down, tail lights, start taking it, dismantling it, uh, headlights. I'll do a video on that this weekend and try to get him prepped this weekend. it been so effing hot, man, Louisiana, man. It, last week, not last week, week before, it was 90s, early 90s. It was cool every day. I thought the fall days was rolling in. Last week came in, it jumped back to like 90, 99, 100. Yesterday, 101, 101, got in my truck and said 103 in there, man. It's just been so hot, so try to see it. Uh, I don't have a big fancy boot yet, so trying to figure out, work that out, how I'm gonna get that clear to lay down with it being so effing hot, man. So I'll figure something out, maybe I'll paint it one evening, then come back the next morning. Why it's cool before it get hot, it's 9, 10 o'clock and clear it the next morning, so that might be, that's probably be the best way I'll probably end up doing it. Uh, and then we're gonna get on the cutting, man. I know a lot of y'all waiting, man. What's up with the cutting? I'm gonna knock out them two projects. I got some other projects coming, but like I say, they ain't sending no deposits, they ain't stamping the stone. I think once I jump on the cutting, I'm probably gonna take them more work in. Probably at least to, I get this frame finished. Get this body down. I, pr I probably won't take no more work in. Uh, a lot of people be hitting me up. My little name floating on the internet a little bit now. And a couple of local cats finally catching up with me. It's taking forever for them to finally catch up with me, but they finally catching up to get in that boy, man. Uh, so a couple of local cats been hitting me up. So we'll see, man. Uh, can't pass with no money though, but. I gotta get back in the cutting, man. Uh, but that's the plan, though, with the cutting. After these two projects, both of the SS's, be back on the cutting, man. We back on the cutting. I got everything for it. It's not gonna take me long to put it together. One day, put the frame together. Another day to drop the body down, but I ain't even undercoated the body. I was gonna put it on the rotisserie, spin it, sand it down to the metal, pox of prime it painted i was gonna clear it i had the bottom of the car wet but i don't think i'm gonna put all that energy into it just, just more time holding me up i'm gonna clear
clean it up under the bottom. Epoxy primer with some uh, raptor, raptor liner like we did on the uh, Project T type. And we're gonna call it a day on that. Uh, we're gonna call it a day on that YouTube. And uh, what else, what else? And I think that's, that's gonna be the plan for the cutting. Right on line it. Cause that right on line, it got a little shine to it. And it's hard because it's mixed with epoxy. I mean, not epoxy, mixed with a hard. And that stuff get hard. I mean, it gets hard like clear coat. So I think that's going to be the plan. Uh, what else? What else? That's it, YouTube. Appreciate you checking in, man. Stay locked. More, more, more videos coming for the cutting. A couple more videos coming on both of the SSs. And then the cutting, man. We're going to get on the cutting. Get on the cutty hard for y'all. I know a lot of y'all waiting on the video uh, for the cutty. I got a lot of stuff I changed for the cutty. Like whatever, whatever you seen for the cutty a year ago, six months ago, it's not even the same. That's it's, it's a whole nother car. It's a whole nother animal now. So uh, it's a whole nother animal, whole nother beast, it's a whole whole nother species. So stay locked, man. Appreciate all the support. Don't forget send them baby shower uh, gifts over. PayPal info gonna be in the description. I appreciate y'all.